Hi, yeah. Uh, I'm George from Smallwood Bees. Um, there's been uh, the, the fence I made it's probably about 10 years ago now. It's obviously there's been a lot of attention to it, so I thought I'd make an update on it. I don't actually live here now, but it's still going strong. So I'll just give you a, a quick tour. Some of the things are, which are working well, some of the things not so well, but I still think it looks great. So I uh, hope you like it. So this is the gate, which I think works really well. In hindsight, it's better to have the where it goes like an angle across, but um, it still works very good. And the good thing about it, key key features are putting staples in lots of places, and that just holds it from dropping down. This bit here, this particularly was pleasing. This is like the bricks. You got the bricks with the a few holes. I didn't do many holes. I think I was fed up by then. But you can see the pine cones, and they look really good. But they close if they get wet, so you want to make sure they're somewhere sheltered. But as you can see, what's really lovely is the ivy's coming through all over. And so here's the main bit, and it's more and more looking like a like an ivy wall, which will be all that's going to do. That's going to be great because that's going to keep the keep the stuff drier. All the all the bits and pieces. So I mean, even there, you can see that. That's cardboard there. Yeah, it's been there. It's not far off 10 years. Definitely not far off 10 years. And it's still doing really well. The wire as well, really good. Uh, I think that there was an old Christmas tree. So it's all holding it together really well. And what's gonna be really nice is the way the ivy's coming through. So it's really kind of becoming both. You've got your kind of debris stuff. <laughs> it's got, sorry, that's my my child making noise uh, so uh, you've got your debris stuff which is which is you know dry and stuff but then you've got the living plants coming through so it's really making it lovely and varied this bit here is probably the easiest way of doing it so all it is is loads of sticks just dropped in uh, you need to make sure with this again that you staple lots because otherwise your danger is or do them quite thin because your danger is they'll just drop down and get fatter and fatter at the bottom and not so much at the top so you can see here again don't forget this is my first, one of my first creations so a lot to learn so this one here you can see it's great it's really good but then at the top there's gaps but the, that's not necessarily a problem because you know gaps and things are good especially spiders they, they use them particularly well uh, this is the uh, cherry tree, which you can see is growing across. I've used rope here in the past, which is, and it's continuous, so it's growing really lovely round. And then there's a few areas. So here, for example, you can see the trees leaning on the top there, which is bending it a bit. But again, it's, it's, it's the good thing about this, you can see there the gaps at the top a bit, but the good thing about this is that it, um, it's got spring to it. So if you push it, it's got spring to it which you could say is that bad but actually if you think about a fence panel in the wind it's a big sail and that's much more likely to just get blown off whereas this perfect okay. so yeah as you can see it's coming on well it's great it's brilliant I really enjoyed making this this is the original creation it's best part of 10 years old now but as you can and you can see it's really just growing so well I'll give you a brief view inside as well, but it's the outside. This is where people walk past, and uh, there has only ever been, I've only ever had positive responses from it. You know, it's really good because it's on a, uh, a kid's uh, walk to school, and they all really like it. And when I did live here, they were always asking questions, but I was just speaking to the new owner, who I'm still good friends with, who, who looks after it really well. I mean, I say he looks after it very well. He doesn't have to do very much, which is great. Um, and uh, he says people are often saying really nice things still and kids coming and having a look and so I'm really hoping it's something which has really inspired people. Uh, yeah, I'm very, my first major create, big creation and it's uh, still going strong. So here's the inside and as you can see, so I always wanted the ivy to grow up well here, which it has done and it's still got the little stream here, the pond. And the arch and again bug houses here obviously love the bug house and arch and it's still going really well so here's a uh, inside seating area as you can see it's uh well i like the idea of sitting down here and chilling so yeah so 10 years old still going strong i personally think it's better than a normal fence panel would be. I think it's uh, 
the way the plants are growing through it, it's only make, helping it and making it stronger and, uh, well, holding it together. Anyway, I'm George from uh, Smallwood Bees. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to comment, like, subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks very much.